Alright, hey, welcome to the table rant. I'm Chris, this is Mia. Unfortunately, we don't have our third counterpart here for this um, review. Um, Tori's off to college and we're happy for her, I suppose. She's probably at this very moment, moment studying because it's um, 1017 on a Saturday night and that's what college students do on Saturday nights. They don't do anything else but study. And uh, so she's probably out. <laughs> out at the library studying, definitely. Um, so, uh, <laughs> uh, today we're actually going to talk about uh, the Predator and we're going to actually ask the question, ask, try and answer the question if, if you should go face to face with the Predator. Um, and me personally, I, I liked it. Uh, I think if you turn off the part of your brain that expects to see a movie like this movie's not winning any Oscars. Let's be real. It's, it's not. It's not good in that sense. Like I wouldn't be like. I'm not putting that as like one of my top ten favorite movies of all time. However, I thought if you turn off the part of your brain that wants to be critical about everything. Although I, I was in a the movie theater thinking like, okay, really, really. Uh, but all in all, I thought it was pretty good. It was solid. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Um, I thought the movie was pretty entertaining. I've never seen the other Predators, so I can only speak off of this one. But from this one, I felt it was pretty entertaining. Yeah, that's how I knew you didn't. When uh, when you, uh, I was like, oh, she didn't get the, the reference when he was like, uh, go get one of the choppers. He was like, oh, get to the chopper. I was like, that's so why you didn't get that reference. This is spoilers. Yeah, oh, definitely spoiler alert. Uh, when you, like, I was like, oh, that's a good reference, but obviously you haven't seen the first one, I'll so you didn't get the reference. I'll my uh, oh, that that we snuck into the movie. Uh, I mean, let's talk. Let's <laughs> let's talk about like let's talk about. I guess the overall. I don't know. Should we review the actual movie? What do you think? You think we should shoot? I mean, it's a table rant, so just talk about what you feel about the movie. <laughs> I, I thought. I see. Without going into like detail on the movie and 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 giving away all of it, I thought the way they kind of like flew flowed everything together was kind of off a little bit um like for one moment they're in the jungle when he you know he may, first makes contact with the predator and then the next moment we see that his family and then the next moment he's in the back of a loony bin it just all kind of just went it everything like was just happening right then and there so it was just kind of like okay you felt like there wasn't a build up for the story yeah, it kind of just throws you into the, into the movie, into the the action, which I don't have a problem with. Um, I, I felt like this movie was like kind of like a callback to the action movies we grew up on, like the, a lot of the action movies we used to watch back in the day, um, including the original Predator. They kind of just no story, just action, killing, stuff, and there was a lot of killing, a lot of killing. This movie, it, it this movie was, I would say, gratuitous on the violence. I wouldn't say gratuitous on the on the gore, but it's gory in but in a good way. Like like I feel like I feel like it was everything kind of like it's the best way that I can describe the best word I can use to probably describe it would be campy. I don't know if that if, if you could call it that same thing, but it was definitely like it's like an old school action movie, like one stuff we grew like I said, something we grew up on. Um, I. I I don't have anything negative really to say because this is not really one of those movies where it's they I think they the people who made the movie knew what type of movie they were making. They knew it was, it was it's gonna be kinda corny. It's gonna be kind of of moments where it's like, okay. But all in all, it's just I think they I think they it, they they again weren't taking themselves too seriously and I liked it about the movie. Well, I have bullet points here. First of all, uh, I want to say shout out to This Is Us because that's my show. But with that being said, Randall, yeah, freaking Randall from This Is Us was evil on this movie, which was kind of funny to see because he's such a sweet guy mm -hmm. on This, oh, is, this us. is Us. And it sucks when you play a character that people like really like fall in love with because yeah. people can't see you past right that character yeah and especially when he popped up on black panther and i was like oh shit <laughs> yeah people don't wait what he's uh he's king not king t'challa king t'challa's oh, yeah, brother yeah 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 because i was like what kill him yeah. kill him but daddy. see 
for that it was different because I saw Black Panther before I started watching This Is Us. Wow. Okay. So I didn't see like the nice sweet guy first. Yeah, nice sweet. Yeah, when he opened up that thing, it's like, oh, this nigga got fucked up. I was like, first off, Randall said nigga. Second he off, did say that. <laughs> so second off, he said fuck. Third yeah. off, he shot somebody in the head. And he's so nice and sweet on This Is Us. And then um, Nebraska on there, I was like, is that the guy from, what did I say? I said Twilight. Twilight. And then you like, Moonlight. Moonlight. And I was Moonlight. like, is that guy from Twilight? And then you like, Moonlight. I was like, oh yeah, yeah Moonlight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Moonlight. He fine with some pretty teeth. He does have nice teeth, but I will not say he's fine. He, he is He's fine. a good looking guy. But the good thing is, he did not die first. You know what? This movie was was groundbreaking. Shout out uh, to black dudes. This was a, a groundbreaking movie in the sense that the black dude did not die first. There was die. no black women in this movie though. I had to take, give them a demerit for that. <laughs> Actually, there was one black woman. She was at the very end. She was uh, in that in the the lab. They showed her very briefly, and I was like, oh, black woman. She had I'm okay tape. with it. But but real quick, can we just talk about how there was a dang on fire drill? Ish because the kids pulled along. Oh the teacher God. didn't even check <laughs> on the to kid sure with he Asperger's. He did. That's the first kid that's, you need to find. That's not even the point. He didn't check to make sure he had all his kids out. Period. That's where I was at. First of all, he was just like, okay, well, it's yeah. Out. He didn't even do a, a a check into the room. As as a teacher, I mean, first off, especially when there's not a fire, you you as a teacher, they tell you when a fire drill's coming, right? No. Really? No, because the drills for us too. Huh? I thought all these years. When I was in school, my teacher used to be like, oh, we're going to have a fire drill in third period today. Well, no. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, obviously. The drills for us as well. Okay, well. Oh, well. Because my, my thing was going to be like, so this dude knows there's a fire, if, if there's going to be a fire drill or not. And, uh, I mean, he wasn't going to know that one. Two yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah, now I know that he didn't know regardless. But in my head, I'm thinking he knows that there's going to be a fire drill and or knows when there's going to be a fire drill and the fact that the fire alarm went off should tell him that there's not a fire it's like in his head like oh this is not true but what class was that they was all playing chess uh, it might have been chess club during school yeah it's elective no they, they, go, go, chess they go to a Montessori chess school like where did you come up with Montessori? The, in that the school where the kids pick, pick where did you do? come up but Montessori does not mean you choose what subjects you want to they have in the school. The subject they it want means to you choose if you want to do math first or if you want to do social studies Just first. Just math? Anyways, thank you for mentioning that um, McKenna's son, Rory. That's right, yeah. That he had Asperger's. Yes. I really appreciated the fact that um, someone good. who has um, a uniqueness to themselves mm -hmm. was featured in this movie. And I appreciated that people were able to see that... Um, that autism has multiple ends of the spectrum. And actually, people who have Asperger's are smarter than people who are considered normally developed and don't have a uniqueness to them. Yeah. So, and it shows in this movie because he yeah. was like, oh my God, kid, like, where do you get it from? Yeah. They're, they're socially different, yeah. but they're geniuses. Like, they're yeah. so smart. And yeah. I, I really loved how they represented that um, in the movie. That's what they, uh, a lot of times, like, you'll see, um, if anybody watches Archer, they always people if people will be like, does Archer have autism? Because he always figures out ways to get out of every situation without actually trying. Mm. And, and it's like a lot of times, um, shout out to Archer for those that watch Archer. Uh, a lot of times, people with autism um, are too smart for them, their own good. I, I guess that's the best. That's the worst way of saying that. But like they're so smart, they just don't know how to tap into it. Really, it's that their brain is like rapid fire with yeah. with stuff quicker than, yeah. than you can process it. Yeah, I don't mean they're too smart for them. Yeah. Oh, good. That's that's that comes off bad. But, no, I got you. So yeah, um, yeah, that was pretty cool. And they actually, it turn, turns out the predator predator came. They came down to hunt our best, and, and so he was the most superior. Yeah, because he. Yeah, because he said he wanted McKenna, so he's yep. like, okay, sniper guys like, well, shoot, he, must him. Be, nah. he was like, I want Rory. Yeah, I want the you. one that is. And they actually had a few callbacks to the original Predator. I won't get into it because you haven't seen the original Predator. We might have to watch that. Um, so I don't mind spoilers. Uh, uh, nah, I, just, I won't get into it. Um, it's a lot of it's a lot of. Um, Little throwback things if you see the movie, like, oh yeah, they did that in the original, like the fight in the jungle. Um, kind of a throwback to the original Predator. Um, the get to the choppers thing, like I said. Uh, let's kind of let's move on to the next thing here. Uh, I have a question. What's up? 
Okay, so there's I called it the big little predator mm. on my my little notes here because there was a a the big predator. <laughs> yeah, there was the, there was a big the eleven predator, foot predator there, and the eight foot predator. But then there was a giant predator. Yeah. So for the big little predator, my question was: so Randall comes yes. and locks down the. His name's not Randall. Movie. His name's not Randall, but he's Randall now. Yeah, he's so Randall he, forever for us. He comes and locks down the biologist. Yeah. And he was like, "Yeah, the predator. He wasn't even here." To do anything bad, he's here to help us. How how Randall knew that? I think because the predator. we spoke about this before we watched and we started taping with the Predator franchise. Like these movies are connected, but not really. Like I feel like they keep rebooting, trying to reboot the, the franchise. But they made a mention of like, oh, he came in eighty seven and ninety seven, and I guess that's referring to Predator and then Predator two and then. Um, in, in Predators, they actually grab people from Earth and take them to another planet. Um, so, I think they're just kind of referencing the old movies or what's already happened. So, I guess they're in a franchise, they're in a, in a universe, but it's like, it's kind of hard to really, to really tell. Um, um, so, we're going to assume that he knew that he was there to help the humans because... Of some continuation from the previous movies, is that where you're going with that? Yeah, yeah I think the fact. Oh my God, uh, y'all can't see this. Football's on TV. Uh, watching UT and USC uh, game. Jesus Christ, he just got destroyed. Um, uh, I think he kind of just made an inference on the fact that, or is it inference or hypothesis? What is it? Which inference. One? Okay, he made an inference on the fact that. There we see these normal height. Well, they're huge already, but the normal height predator come, and then all of a sudden we see this dude that's like almost double the size of this other predator. So I think that's kind of he kind of made a, a inference on the fly there. Hmm. But yeah. Okay. Next question I have. Okay. Why did this predator dog all of a sudden become loyal to the humans, or I, was he being loyal to the I, humans? I don't know. He kind of like referred to. He's like he when he shot him. I think he said he's like you gave him a lobotomy. So I think that's what happened. <laughs> I think he just kind of like lost his mission. Oh man. Okay. And then my last question that I had was, so Rory's playing with the little thing and he's making these ships all of a sudden become visible. Were there multiple ships or were there just one? And if so, what happened to the other? I think there was two. What other predators was that? They are on their home planet, probably. So they ain't come down to. to Get boogie with the uh -uh. big guy on the original predator with the big tracker on the, on the original predator. They have um, uh, one comes down and he hunts he, uh, Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Bill Duke, Apollo Creed, um, <laughs> uh, Carl Weathers, his real name. Uh, no, his name is Apollo uh, Creed, Jesse Ventura. I'm a Rocky it, fan. It's, it's, it's a bunch of like men, manly men. So he comes down and as part of like it's like they're they hunt they hunt like our our best people like our strongest people to try and get better like they're like they literally that's what they were saying like he sounds like a hunter that's like basically what they're doing but that still didn't answer my question so only one of them came where yeah they only sent one to get better but what other ship go get better up. this dude 11 feet walking in swole down his job he see his up. job was there to get the get the predator that came down that predator seemed like he was coming down trying and they said that was the one that was coming to help. Yeah, I think he was trying to come down and warn, but originally they only sent one at a time. Mm. Except for aliens versus predator, they sent three. And shout out to McKenna's wife. Oh yeah, she was bad. Cause she was holding it down. She too. was holding it all the way down. She was holding down before. Uh, and oh, shout out to the loonies. Let me they give, a, let me give a, let me give a rant. Let me give a rant. Right now, I need them to make a movie or a documentary on why are henchmen in in action movies always so trash. And you know what pisses me off? Like a lot of times I'll be like, "Oh yeah, these guys are are special forces." Blah 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 blah, and they still be trash. They don't. They like henchmen in movies suck. I, they need to make a documentary on this. Cause nobody wants to see the bad guy win. And yeah, but don't make your henchmen seem like they're really badass. That's what bothers me. Like they'll set the henchmen up like these are the best of the best of the best. And they go down way too easy. So they need to put up a little bit of a fight at least. Like come fair. On. That's like fair it pisses me off with henchmen. That's anyway, true. that's my rant. And anyway, uh, because Tori is probably studying, um, and she is 
uh, super busy studying. I'm going to give her a call um, since she can't be here. She's going to do our segment here on uh, what do we think the Rotten Tomato score will be. I'm glad that that whole statement made sense to you. Tori's studying, so I'm going to call her. Yeah, so, uh, what we thought the Rotten Tomato score would be. Um, personally, I can see snobby people probably wouldn't like this movie, so I'm thinking somewhere in the 50, so I'm probably just say 54%. I'm hitting a hard 50. Hard 50? All right, let's call Tori. Uh, see what she let's see what um, what number it actually is. Um, personally, I thought I thought for an action movie, the, like, like you can't get any better than that. It was funny. It was. That's another thing we didn't talk about. There's a lot of good, lot of good jokes in this. Uh, hey, Tori, what's up? Hey, this is the bill collector. Yeah, we're 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 in, the, we're in the middle of. Of a, a table rant right now, and we just wanted to call you and ask you, um, since you're our, our numbers girl on the Rotten Tomato score, uh, I guess maybe a 54. Me is going a 50. Um, what is the number? 34. 30. Oh my God, 34 percent. Um, I thought it was better than that. I, I felt like it was a solid movie. Um, 34 is like you ain't just failed. I just gave you points for putting your name on the page. Yeah. I, yeah, 30. If I recall, I'm pretty sure Jurassic World had better than a 34. And Jurassic World was, if you've seen our our other reviews plus the review of Jurassic World, I thought that was toilet water. Um, carbonated it toilet water. It was carbonated toilet it water. Was it was terrible. Absolute <laughs> trash. Um, well, since we already had the Rotten Tomato score, let's kind of segue into the next segment. Um, should you go see it in the movie theater? Should you wait for it on DVD or skip it? I'm gonna say movie theater. And we saw it in Adobe. The, the sound was amazing. It looked good. Um, give another rant. AMC, do not replace the Dolby seats with the IMAX seats because the IMAX seats go go don't go all the way back. The regular seats make you fall down like it's a goddamn bed. I don't want to be halfway like this, like kind of like like I'm in a hospital bed. I want the full the full decline. <laughs> But go see in the movie theater. That's my. That's how I feel. Oh my god. <laughs> what did you? <laughs> this boy that yelled at AMC. Oh my god. Um, I think that you can go see in the theater. It's funny, so I think you can go see it. I mean, I wouldn't pay to go see. Let Let's be clear. Dolby costs like twenty five thousand dollars. Yes. Shout out to Mobile number. Tuesdays because we got our tickets for four. Yes, we did. So if we did not get the tickets for four, we would have not went to see it mm -hmm. in Dolby. No. We would have not went to see it at seven fifteen at night. We, we would probably have actually wouldn't next. have seen it. Um, to be completely honest with you, I wasn't really big on seeing Predator. We would have saw So if you go see it, go see it in a matinee mm -hmm. because uh, movie tickets are just they going up like gas prices anyway. Yeah. Um, and I I I thought. Personally, I thought the movie was good enough to go see it in the theater. Would I'd probably see it full price? I, I don't have a problem. I don't have an issue with that. Yeah, you know, he described that predator as Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg, but, but big, but tall. But tall and with a mask. Oh yeah. my god! It was just the dreads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the predator got dreads. Uh, so all in all, tell us what you thought about uh, the predator. Tell us if we were completely off, out of bounds. Tell us if you thought we. We're completely right. Um, for me and Tori, I'm Chris. This was a table rant. You got anything what? to say? For me and Tori, what? For Mia and Tori. Yeah, for me and Tori, what? That's how you closed. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I was like, what? It's like, for Mia and Tori, I'm Chris. This was a table rant. I'm Mia. <laughs>